Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about impedance transfer in a transformer. Now in this channel, I haven't talked about anything related to transformer. So let's first get a brief introduction of what a transformer is. Not a transformer in a movie, but a transformer in electrical engineering. So first of all, what is it? A transformer is an electrical device that can transfer and amplify voltage and current by electromagnetic induction, also known as EI. Now, as I've mentioned before in my video about flux, flux is created when a current flows through a coil wrapped around a magnetic core. Now that flux is created, is then created, that is simply perpendicular to the uh, current that is flowing through the coil. Now voltage will be created simply by the number of turns of that coil multiplied by the changing of the flux. Therefore, in a transformer, the voltage is always in AC because that would create a change in the flux and that would have voltage produced. Now, a transformer, as I've said before, can transfer and amplify. And in order to do that, you need to have two coils between each other, also known as mutual inductance. Now the number of turns would basically determine the amplification. So amplification, also known as lowercase a, is equal to this n divided by this n. And we can name this one n1 and then n2 and we can write them here respectively. So this amplification a is equal to n1 divided by n2 and this will be important to understand the methodology of impedance tr transfer. Now let's move on and look at our transformer circuit. So this is how a transformer will look like where you have the primary side and then the secondary side. So the primary and the secondary. And let's go back to our amplification, which is N1 divided by N2. Now, in a given scenario, say that we already know what the components of the primary side is. Well, we can determine our parameters for our secondary side, which is Z2 and V2 if we are given the number of turns for N1 and N2. Because A is also equal to the ratio of these voltages and the impedances. So A can also be equal to V1 divided by V2 and Z1 is divided by Z2. Now Z2 is special because, I'm going to get rid of this equal sign here, it is actually equal to A squared. So you take that amplification and you square it, and that you will get the ratio of uh, Z1 over Z2. And therefore, if we switch these terms up, we can find our components if we're given our primary component. So V2 will be equal to V1 divided by A, and Z2 will be equal to Z1 divided by A squared. Now, I'm sorry if you didn't see that. I wasn't paying attention to the video, but here is what it would look like. Now that we've understand how a normal transformer circuit is. Let's 
go back and focus on the impedance transfer. So an impedance transfer would be putting, would be, I'm going to get back to the slide here, taking the secondary components and then putting them into the primary components. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a new, write, draw the new circuit on a new blank sheet of paper. So this would what it would look like. This, so this is how our new circuit would look like if you were to transfer the impedances Z2 onto the primary side. Now, let's go back to amplification. This is important because with the amplification, we can determine our new values for Z2 and V2. <coughs> Going back to our equation, A, amplification, our new our z2 value and our v2 value would be then equal to a squared multiplied by the original impedance z2 v2 will be equal to a times v2 and now for our current that will be a little different i2 will be 1 over A times I2 and their I2 will be here so that is how what impedance transfer is and that is to transfer our secondary components to our primary side and voila So now let's do an example to prove that we understand impedance transfer. So the example. Given the parameters, V1 is equal to 350 volts, the secondary current is 50 amps, the secondary impedance is 14 ohms, N1 is 50 turns, N2 is 100 turns, determine I2, Z2, and V2 on the primary side. So let's utilize impedance tra transfer, and that's what we're going to have to do. But before that, let's draw our transformer circuit, shall we? So first, three hundred and fifty volts. That's our coils. N1 is equal to 50. N2 is equal to 100. C2 is equal to 14 ohms. I2 is equal to 50 amps. And V2 is unknown. So this is how our circuit is. So then first and firm foremost, we're given our transformer circuit. So first and foremost, let's start off to find our turn ratio or amplification, also known as lo lowercase a. So lowercase a is equal to n1 divided by n2 and what we know is that n1 is 50 and n2 is 100 and that is equal to 1 over 2 now what we can do is to determine 
our secondary impedance, our secondary voltage, and our secondary current on the primary side. So let's write down our equations. Z2 prime is equal to A squared Z2. I2 prime is equal to 1 over A I2. And V2 prime is equal to A times V2. So let's get our values. So A is 1 over 2. Z2 is 14 ohms. I2 prime is equal to 1 over 2. We take 1 over 2, multiply that by 50 amps. And our V2 prime is equal to 1 over 2 V2, which we haven't found yet. So first off, let's determine V2. So V2 is equal to V1 over A. V1 is 350. A is 1 over 2, so V2 therefore is 700 volts. So now we have 700. Now let's, now that we've calculated V2, we can determine the rest of our components. So 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4, and then we take that, multiply that by 14, and what we get is 7 over 2. I2 is equal to 25 amps, and we rate that ohms here, and then for our V2 prime, that will be 350. So now that we've got our values, we can then draw our impedance trans, our uh, new transformer circuit. So what we get is here V1 is equal to 350 volts. Uh, our Z2 here is equal to 7 over 2 ohms. Our current that is flowing through here is 25. And there we have it. Uh, V1 is, is also equal to uh, V2 prime. So that is our new transfer transformer circuit. And hope you guys understand what impedance transfer is. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you next time.